Yesu tukedi sasa God bless you God bless you Nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana na Bwana wa mabwana amenilinda vizuri and I know God is so powerful in your life wewe si mtumwa wewe ni mrithi wa Mungu Amen Haya ya 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 That's good uh, I equalize zaidi eh? Now Siku ya leo tunaenda kuona neno kuhusu the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Yaani the call for the fear of the Lord. Mwito wa Bwana ambao umetokea kwamba watu wamuogope na wamche Bwana. Now, ibada ya kwanza tulikava so many areas and by the grace of God utaiona kwa YouTube twende part 2. Now, just to mention something, to the fear of the Lord is a respectful fear, a respectful dread. Ni hivi, mugu huyu ni muku sana kwamba ukimkaribia hauna msaha, you can only respect him. Au kwa jia ingine, tunaita awesome leflens yani hali ya kiungu hali ya kumuogopa bwana kwa sababu ya vile alivyo he is so much god so complete so great kwamba unamuogopa now we want to, to, to understand Aha. Praise the name of the Lord. Kuna mambo mawili matatu kuhusu Mungu huyu ambao ni ya maana sana that we need to understand. Haya, kitu kimoja ambacho kinamaanisha kumcha Mungu it is the warm of security around him let me explain something literal wakati kijana yako alikuwa mdogo kuja kwa wewe i know your son alikuwa ibada sije kama ameenda where is kanaitwaje where is water kuja eh kubwa kwa elia yani ukisema tu water kanajua kanajua baba naitana haleluya amen that's good ujamaa huwa askari unaona hiyo size lakini uso wake ndio mtumishi now how are you kijana huyu alipokuwa mdogo sana mdogo sana and i hope maybe dad was still a policeman kile huyu alikuwa eh kuja hapa na kwa baba eh kakiwa kadogo sijui tutaweka uta kakiwa kadogo kadogo size inaweza kuwekea kiti hapa huyo mtakisa sasa wewe kaa tu kwa mkubwa kakiwa kadogo kile kalikuwa kanaona kwa dad ni ile joto ya security dad ni kumkaribia hakuna mtu atanichezea kuogopa Mungu kwanza inaanza na hiyo inaanza na mtu you start like a child before God. Anytime mtu wa Mungu anaanza kutebea na Mungu, you must start like a child. Leta hiyo kiti haraka. Eh, na blau na mekalia vitu vili. Hiyo ni, ni kwa sababu ya kilo au ni the <laughs> featherweight na mekalia bili. Ubarikiwe brother. Hebu kati hapo. Eh, ni kadogo bwana. Wewe police, angalia kijana. Hakika hii uso ni ya polisi. Unawe ya raki. Kuna mchezo hapa. Haa mama. Ma, hey, mama hako pale. Mama kuja wakai tu hapo. Tututio baba. Mama agari hii. Dio jioni ya hede aseme vile mnikuwa mwajama. Mamu. Bahada hii kazi ukawapikie. Sasa watu fanya kazi sasa. Kakiwa kadogo. Tabia ya mtoto akiwa mdogo. The fear of God inaanza na mtu alie na tabia kama ya mtoto beza Mungu. 
you can't start the fear of god na hali ya kujisikia umekomaa haitaanza ah 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 nasema kumcha mungu na kumuogopa hakutaanza kama una nia ya kobo umekomaa it will not work you must start like a child na huyu mtoto akiwa mchanga eh kwanza akijua baba ni soja hello what habari yako unasikia sasa ukiwa hapo tabia moja ni kwamba anasikia joto ya security around him mtoto na soja askari bwana tena mrefu futi saba kitu kingine mtu usikia mhm hutokea hapo ni kwamba anajua and disobedience in a discipline kwa hivyo anaoga gapi bili ya kwanza tukiwa na baba mimi niko secure no look at that kwa hivyo anahesabu the power the ability of the father lakini pia kuna kitu anajua na hata kama niko secure maeneo haya nikicheza naweza tandikwa ujamaa alikuwa mkali eh eh ha kuna tokea vita kwa hivyo mtu akiwa mchanga unamcha mugu na kumuogopa in two ways kwanza and he covers you guvu zake zinakufanya uwe secure lakini at the same time unajua yeye si wa kawaida hata kama unamuita dadi aweza badrika achukue buduka wapi usinichezewe siji amai kukutisha na buduki aweza fanya hiyo hata hiyo hakujaki naye kwa nyumba umai umai mbona naye kazini na kwa nyumba sometimes Udifikiri ameleta kwa jumba kwa nini? <laughs> Haleluya. Haya. Tuendelee sasa. Kaeni hapo tu. Tabia ngapi? Bili. I'm secure. Nikiwa na dad. Lakini naweza vibiwa sana na huu baba. So the fear of God is in two ways. Bwana asifiwe sana. Haleluya. Ukiangalia katika provo kaeni tu hapo baba na mtoto Najua wakati mna leader Ruto mnakaa masaa masaa 4 hasa dakika 30 hata hata bila haijaisha Haya tuangalie Proverbs chapter 3 verse 11 Proverbs chapter 3 verse 11 Proverbs chapter 3 verse 11 tufungue hapo No problem. Yes, thank you. Haha, my son, do not despise the chastening of the Lord. Nor detest his correction. Kuna mambo ebu ebu tuangalie, tutaangalia hiyo verse kwa jia jia kadhaa. Tuko tuko proverbs, tuko midhali. Hebu tuendelee midhali tunasoma tatu aya kumi na moja paka kumi na bili. Do, do not despise the chastening of the lord neither detest his correction mwanangu usidharau kuadhibiwa na bwana wale usi, wala usione ni taabu kuludiwa naye kwa kuwa Bwana ampendae humrudi kama vile baba mwanawe ampendezae for whom the lord loves he corrects just as a father the son in whom he delights in Bwana aswe sana haleluya kuna mama matatu mugu kama baba ako naye na no, usipo ya usipo ya jua na kuyatabua itakuletea shida. Number one, Mungu ako na righteousness, righteousness. Mungu ako na msimamo wa haki. 
Huwezi mtingiza. He has righteousness it ni msimamo wa Mungu uliokamilika wa haki ako naye na hiyo hiyo hainami na abadilishi. Amen. Jabra pili Mungu ako nalo Mungu pia ako na utakatifu holiness. Jabra tatu Mungu ako nalo ni discipline. Haya. Sasa habari ya mtoto. Habari ya baba. Sasa Mungu ako na namba 1 righteousness, namba 2 holiness, namba 3 discipline kwa sababu ya vile unavyo amesimama Mungu he is forever established huu ni mtu lakini mfano forever established he is righteous si wa kupakwa matope au Mungu kute jana ati amekaa kama a a he is forever established jambo lingine ni mtakatifu zaidi amekamilika katika utakatifu na namba tatu yeye ni Mungu wa kutoa kuadhibu mithamu he is god of discipline hallelujah kwa sababu ya vile alivyo allowed him hautakosa tabia ya correction kama huyu ni mtoto wa baba can you imagine analipa school fees kai ni upendo si hata sasa hii dunia imenunua wewe hujaajiriwa Yes, no, no, no. Si, eh, kiatu ni wewe saa ni yeye defu tu dio mungu amekupa <laughs> si ni wewe baba si ni upendo yes akona msimamo kama baba but the same time huyu baba can correct you na hautaona baba mwingine akija kufanya hiyo kazi ni huyu aliyekuzaa that's why Mungu aliyetuzaa Mungu aliyetuumpa Mungu aliyetuokoa sio mwingine yeye yeah. hata kama ni mtakatifu na ni wa haki he is still a god who can correct you Hallelujah Na katika tabia ya kumcha Mungu mtabue Mungu vile alivyo na ikifika wakati wa kuambia piduka ka hivi kubali akurekebishe Now let me say this. Mungu aliye mtakatifu na aliye mwenye haki kama hutaruhusu akurekebishe mtaachana kama nakupenda. There are people who walked with God wakakosa kutabua ni mtakatifu, wakakosa kutabua ni mwenye haki, wakatabua ni wanema kubwa. Hiyo mimi nadhani ni wanema kubwa. Mungeiba ni mkali sana. Mungeiba ni mtakatifu kabisa. Mungeiba Mungu ni Mungeiba ni Mungu wa nidhamu. Mumeiba ni wanema, mkasahau anaweza tadika mtu. Mumeiba Mungu ni wanema, mkasahau kwamba Mungu ako na tabia yake. Ukiambua uje ibada saa biri, unaingia saa sita. ate ni wanema kubwa. Utaona na yeye Eli alimchezea Mungu akawa mlegefu. Bwana kama pia sikia Eli, sikia Eli, wewe, wewe. Wanaoni heshima nitawaheshimu. Wasioni heshima nitawashusha. I like it in kiss I say nitawashusha wawe si kama kitu. Allowed God kuna correction. Atuna kula fungu la 10 Mungu ataelewa. Ah ah. Mungu hata inama awe kwamba fungu la kumi sitakatifu kwake ni lako Aha. Mungu amekataa amesimama na akiwa wa kweli Ati umefanya usharati na wewe ni wako Aha. Mungu hata badilika awe kwamba hehe haleluya ati ni wanema ainame akubali usharati wako kuna kitu kama hiyo Mungu atabaki vile alivyo Amen And that's why kwa sababu anabaki vile alivyo kuna wakati anaweza kureke, kurekebisha kama hutaki kurekebishwa na baba 
na yeye ndiye amekuzaa na yeye ndiye msaada wako na yeye ndiye tumaini utaisha sasa wakikataa kurekebishwa aende kuzurura haleluya akute police sasa wewe unakuwa kwa wapi parliament sasa akute police wasingishu tiataka kwa ndani na atadikwe eh yeah. Ukute walevi si watakutoa meno. You see, do you know what happens katika mambo ya wokovu? Kama ulitoroka kwa mikono ya Mungu akiwa baba. Akiwa baba, ukakataa kurekebishwa. What happens? Nisalimieni. Utaona baadaye hautakuwa product ya baba. Utakuwa product ya kitu kingine. Can I ask a question? Kwa maana umekuwa katika hii wokovu. Are you sure you are product ya baba? You know, hii kitu ni kali sana. Huyu kijana kikaa hapa. Haleluya. Alikuwa anataka kuvuta bangi bwana akatandikwa ikaisha. Alikuwa anataka kuwa na girlfriend kingine ka neighbor baba. Kwanza aliona Siku yote aliona bunduki imeingia kwa nyumba. <laughs> Haleluya! Natagaza this man very soon will be a product of the father. Haleluya! Na baba hataona aibu. Hata kitembea bere ya wazee wengi kusema na kijana mnaona pale. That's my son. That's my Woo! Nilimlea kanisikia. Sasa ndi amenulia ile gari. Nilimlea kanisikia mwenye nao pale is my son. Nilimlea kati ndi ule ambao ni manager wa Barclays Bank pale we, London. Mm. Ba kama kuna ule hakukusikia hata ogea baba yake. Maisikia wazazi wakiongea. Kuna wazazi hapa they don't talk. Na mun- we, Watu wengine hapa wako na watoto 10 na wewe sijua. Wote waliharibika. Ni yetu, ni yetu. Mm, ni wale makubwa. Wewe ni wapi? Wapi watoto? Eh, yenyewe, yenyewe. Ukitaja watoto, yenyewe. <clears throat> Wibo naisha. They are not product. Hallelujah. Na wakati wa wote ulitorokea nidhamu ya Mungu ukaenda nje. Ni vingumu sana Jehova aseme na ule ni wangu. Ni vingumu sana Jehova aseme na ule mnaona pale ni wangu. That's why wakati Yesu alibatizwa, roho wa Bwana kashuka juu yake, bingu baba aliongea sema, "Huyu ndio mtoto wangu wa pekee na mpenda, msikizeni huyo." I pray very soon God will point at you. Aseme, "That is my servant. That is my product. That is my son." That is my daughter. Na Mungu ata make sure hakuna aibu takufuata. Kwa maana angetaka kujivunia utukufu wa baba ulio ndani ya mtoto. Bwana asifiwe. Tuendelee. Nikuletee kiti au tuendelee. Ako sawa. Hapana wagopa baba ako hapa. Leo hana buduki. Ainuriwa Yesu. Hallelujah. Amen. Haya wacha sasa. Fanya hivi utarudisha kiti. Uketi naweza kupita tena baba. Nasamia mama kwa hapo nyuma yako. Eh ndio ule. Umecha. Unaona wewe si polisi, unaona polisi wanatoa bandera bio. Wewe huyu huyu ni injinia labda. Now Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Hebrews 12 verse 10 Waibrania kumi na mbili aya kumi waibrania kumi na mbili aya kumi Hebrews 12 verse 10 aha aha nasema hivi maana hakika how kwa siku chache waliturudi kama walivyoona vema wenyewe bali yeye kwa faida yetu ili
ili tushiriki utakatifu wake na tatu wagalie he for our prophet hehe he, haleluya alituunda akatugonga gonga akatuwekea mipaka tukawa tumerekebishwa bible nasema haleluya for our prophet that we may be partakers that we may be what partakers bible says that we may be partakers of his holiness amen ni kwa faida yetu wapendwa baba anatutengeneza baba anatuchapa baba anatuwekea mipaka baba anatuambia hautavaa hivi hautakaa hivi utakaa kidogo baada ya kurekebisha ujue kumbe 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 vile baba alikuwa ananinyorosha kumbe ilikuwa kwa faida yangu Hallelujah. I know there are people who are saying isipokuwa ni baba aliyenilea sigekuwa mwalimu sigekuwa na degree sigekuwa mama wa heshima sigekuwa baba wa maana si ni kweli kuna wengi hapa you are saying that baba home <laughs> habari yako <laughs> ubarikiwa sana huyu mama yake alikuwa mwalimu na baba alitandikwa sana huyu aniambia <laughs> hivyo na siku moja alienda kanisani akazikia kanisa hiyo liko eh mama ndiye anaomba maombi ile maombi ya pastor prayer nasema gaito no kedia siana ni yule mdo akajua ni yeye akatoroka <laughs> na siku ya alikuwa mrembe <laughs> saba hiyo eh, obi ya mama hapana hapana labda meniona kwa gate lakini kuna watu wengi hapa ukijirudia ule ukali wa baba yako na mama yako kuna mali ulikusaidia mm. wewe si haikuwa mzuri wewe ati harusi nani kesho okay vile naona kaka labda ulikuwa vile naona mwe baba ulikuwa mjaja sana wewe ukaudwa mm haleluya wengine hapa wakasoma haugesoma huge kuwa na akili This is what happens baadaye katika huduma baadaye katika uzee wako baadaye ukikomaa ndio unagundua kwa nini Mungu aliku, alikutia kwa nidhamu kali hivyo may the lord help us now may the lord keep us hallelujah now aha uh-huh. nataka tuangalie neno katika proverb 16 verse 6 Proverbs 16 verse 6 Leo tutasoma neno sana tukimalizia hatuna muda sakin God is with us Proverbs 16 verse 6 In mercy and truth atonement is provided for iniquity and by the fear of the lord one departs from evil kitu kimoja ambao ni matokeo ya kumcha mungu ni kwamba kuna uovu ulikuwa mbele yako but you are able to depart semeni amen mungu aonae bali aliponilea kama mtoto wake alipo ni songa songa na kuniunda unda kumbe alikuwa naona uovu mbele yangu na kwa sababu nilimuogopa alipokuwa kinikemea i was able to depart from evil i say when you fear god na unapoona na kuonya baadaye utaiba wimbo usijue kwamba when i feared god na nikakubali kumcha bwana kabisa I was able to depart from evil. May the Lord help us to avoid that evil. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Nilijinyima kwa kuopa Mungu. Wengine walipoenda Anasa, kumbe Bwana aliniokoa na laana. Sikukunywa pombe, wengine wakikunywa. Niliopa Bwana na nikatisha ria yake, kumbe Mungu alikuwa ananikoboa 
kwa aibu iliyo kabla yangu sikufanya usherati nilionekana kama mchinga lakini baadaye i can confirm i was able to avoid evil hala mashaka may god keep you friends naomba hata sasa umuoope mungu sana haleluya kuna tambia itatokea ndani yako ya long lasting blessings in jesus christ name nataka tuangalie neno lingine kitabu cha muhumbili nane kumi na tatu Ecclesiastes 8 verse 13 inasema hivi trusting that uko na uwezo inasema but it will not be well with the wicked no will he prolong his days which are as a shadow because he does not fear before god now nizalimieni tu let me give a secret ukiokopa mungu sana na umche mungu sana mungu utamani ukae kae na nataka kukaa kae kukaa maisha marefu tamakae nyina adhogo enda kwa ikarage mm. kai do, do, do you hear that amen haleluya bwana asifiwe wewe hujawahi kuona kuna mtu amekufa watu wakalia sana sema kai mm. kuna kijana mmoja no you see if you before the father the god we serve if you fear god so much no mche mungu in the name of jesus i announce to you hallelujah god you prolong your days na tatamani uishi sana na uishi sana dio katika ulimwengu mungu awe na wana wanaomheshimisha mm, hallelujah dio akinua mkono akielekeza mkoroine watu wa mkoroine akoiga na mkoroine nina watoto wangu pale akinua mkono bahati ambao kulikuwa na kina kele ya mete na wengine anasema na katikati ya wakora nina watu watano wananipa heshima wakae kae wakae kae haleluya piga huyu sawesu makofi haleluya lakini kama na msikie hii na msike vizuri kama you are wicked na kika unazidi kuasi mungu there's a likelihood kukitokea kitu ya kukupereka pereka unaweza ruhusiwa uende mm leo sio na wadhie baba says god will not prolong your days because you don't fear before him now kuna hii tabia ya kuogopa Mungu na kumucha bere ya uso wake. Mnakumbuka Leviticus 10 verse maje watoto wa Alun abihu na, na nani mwingine. Walienda bere za Bwana wakapeleka moto wa kigeni hapo bere before God. Mungu aliwaua bere zake. Na ni vijana Baba yao ndiye alikuwa mzee, alikuwa ndugu ya Musa. What do you think we baba? My brother, what do you think when you lose two sons? Baba Jeff, the, the other one no. Uko na vijana wakubwa. You, you know you you, you. kuza tena. Ai, hata mama hata. Si mama alikuambia last time kazi imeisha. Ati ati remadhie. Eh. Watu tu wawili wa Aaron. The high priest Badraya Muzea ende what you are yenda the bible says something very interesting na mungu akawaua hapo bere yake you know let these people disappear wanawezaje leta moto wa kigeni in fact if you read that scripture utaona kitu kinaanza kukusumbua akili katika lawi kumi. inasema hivi Let's just read that scripture. Naona sasa zimeisha sasa. 
Aha, Reviticus. Oh, koni hai na Ravi. Oh, ikonai. No, Bible says something unique here. Leviticus chapter 10. Inasema hivi na nadabu na abihu sons of watoto wa nani wa halon wakatwa kila mtu cheteso chake chake wakatia moto ndani yake wakatia na ufumba nao wakatoa moto lakini si moto wa kweli ni moto wa kigeni bible says prophet fire foreign fire wakato moto wa kigeni preza bwana abao yeye hakuagiza by the way wataku niambia wakujua they knew they knew the fire hallelujah that god had commanded can you imagine unakuta kanisani eh yeah? unajua unajua wiki hii mungu amekubariki na 1100 na unaweka kwa bahasha 1000 you know very well fungu la 10 la 1100 ni 1000 nem nem unabie kitu ambacho tunafanyaga we receive all the money tunaka kwa bank na siwafichi sio pesa yote inakubalika biguni although si tunaikubali na mtu mniangalia kakule ulipata 1100 ukaweka kwa bahasha 1000 ate dio tithe hii ni moto wa kigeni na sasa hivi nasema guy vesha nyingi ni kama ni kama unaonea umayo umayo ukona mtu anapea mtu chakula na akikula sana naona ni kama unaona wivu kakire ile ate yoyo you see ate kupatia mungu giri tatu to you umempa sana whereas ulituita kwako birthday ukatumia 20000 Uliita come together ukatumia 8000. Uliitwa fundraising ya rafiki yako ukampelekea 8000. Mungu anasema sawa nimekupa 1000. 10000 is holy. Bwana inuliwe sana. 10000 is holy. Bwana inuliwe. Sasa what is this? Wasema wakaleta moto wa kigeni can you hear this which he had not commanded them bwana inuliwe sana sasa you see now what to fikiria mungu upokea anything god anajijua mungu ako na kiwango jehova amekoma hakuragi anything anakula kile aliagiza hallelujah and that's why bible says walipoleta mtu wa kigeni bible sama Where? Can you imagine? They brought prophet fire. Walileta moto wa kigeni. Haya, na hapo bere za Bwana walipoleta moto wa kigeni kukatokea moto mwingine ukawaua. And this is a very strange statement. When God says, kisha moto ukatoka hapo bere za Bwana. Angalia ni vizuri. Wamereta moto aba Mungu akuagiza bere za Mungu. Hapo bere za Bwana kukatoka moto mwingine wa kuaua. Kukatoka moto mwingine hapo bere za Bwana. Nao wakafa bere za Bwana. Sometimes this is mazafa ni. Angalia, walileta moto wa kigeni bere za Bwana. Kukatoka moto mwingine bere za Bwana. Moto huo ukawaua bere za Bwana. Na Musa alipoitwa Najua Musa alikuwa baba mdogo. Najua lazima watu wakikuwa baba mkubwa aitwe, baba mdogo aitwe. Musa alipokuja alisema, "Nini maua? Ni mareli au ni homa?" Hapana, bere za Bwana. Anasema, "Sawa, hakuna shida. Si nilikuwa nimewaambia." Musa hata hakulia. Alisema, "Tuzike maiti za Yesu za Mungu hizi." Nataka kuambia hivi. If you fear God, Bwana atatamani sana ukae bere zake ukireta moto aliyoagiza ukireta sifa alizoagiza ndazo naambiaga 
wale mna present hapa na baba Kevin leo leo lipa vizuri lakini nilikuwa karibu kupatia maji nisikia ume umeiba na moyo wako wote eh eh that's what nakuta kama hao na wasukuma kido you know why i do it because this is the altar of god and you can you can't just offer any praise unajua sasa watu wanakuwa mumeiba vizuri mumeiba vizuri wipo ni amana lakini the truth is god has a status that's how nakuta kama ni nyinyi mna practice because you can't just present anything Hallelujah. Kama mimi nimuhubiri lazima lazima tufikirie sana. Hata tukijaga hapa tuna tunaita engineer tunafikiria. Kama ungekuja hapa hapa tukifiki tukijaga. Hii nyumba itakuwa leta itakuwa church hall. What do we do? Tufanye nini ifedeze Mungu? You really think, you really think. Amen. I, I thank God for the drum set. You know, kuna dada ali donate drum set ya stima. Akasikia siji meharibika kidogo. Tukayuda. But she brought a new one. And I was so encouraged to see she brought the best blood. In it was Lollard. One of your Lollard is the best in England. Hakueda. Bwana inuliwe sada. Hallelujah. Na kwambia kama utapatia mugu sifa anazotaka agatamani ukae kae. Kama utapatia mugu huduma anaotaka agasema huyu alidi akae kae. Kama utajegea Bwana nyumba anazotaka sema hakika akae kae anipendeze. Lakini kama utaleta moto wa kigeni, moto wa kigeni. Can you imagine? Wewe tuongee ukweli. Nani aliyo hao watoto wawili? Ni Mungu. Moto itoka wapi bere zake na aliwaua Can God kill is what he say Mungu aturehemu na omba kutoka leo utoe we msije ibada vile mnataka muje vile Mungu aliagiza Amen wale mmeoa doa yako isikae vile mnataka ikae vile mlisema kwa madhabahu na ikae vile babu nasema ili bwana apendezwe na tukae kae tukimpendeza piga huyu Yesu makofi <laughs> Hallelujah May the Lord lengthen your days Oh God wale mnamtumikia Mungu na mnampendeza naomba bwana aongeze siku zako Hey, hey. Hallelujah kutoka leo bwana kiangalia ibada yako aseme na huyu ahifadhiwe kuna utukufu uko mbele kuna unabii uko mbele na kutoka leo usikubali kwa mlegefu may god bless you as you fear him amen kuogopa mungu as i finish is what we call sanctified fear of god Now Haya Kuja hapa kulia Na baba yako ako Baba yako Eh Sina kumbukupa Nwa gethi eji Huyu akiwa mdogo Baba likuwa na kutandika sawa sawa Disuku hizi katubo ni kazuri Nwa ifanya arusi ya maana Eh bethi Ia itosha isasa Eh Gethi mwane kege Hallelujah. Now you see now this brother ukiwa mdogo baba alikufanya correction. But sasa huyu ni mkubwa. Can I ask a question? Baba yako angalia na kutandika? I want I want to teach you what we call sanctified fear of God. Kumcha Mungu katika levo ya mtu aliyetakaswa baada ya kudwa soma akasoma baada ya kudwa fanya harusi ukawa beth ukaolewa dada ile mlima tulipada jioni hiyo huyu mlima ulikuweza siku hizi unajua hey, hey, hallelujah akaja kadisani i remember this man coming to my office akambia bishop niwekelee mikono 
Akati baba wa imani. I, I wish mgejua siri ya this man. Although sasa mjua wagi mwamega. Watu wana kama? Aga bisho nimepata pari padogo nimepona na anko. Kuja utie mafuta na uniombe. Now things are growing. This man talks about millions these days. Ama kaka hii video tu muone. Lakini God loves you so much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Muulizeni. Baba alipo mlea alikuja kwa wagu ni kaza kumuambea. And anything in his life we pray for. We pray. We pray. Na hakuna hatu hatu ombei. And God is doing what does. In just Christ's name. Sasa mutu wakifika hiyo level. Baba hawabishani. Wanaongea kama marafiki. Amen. Lakini ni anaogopa mungu katika utakatifu wake. Sasa siyo discipline. You worship God and you fear God in his holiness. Unatembea na mungu. Hu wanatembea na baba akijua. Na hata kama mimi ni matokeo ya marezi ya baba. Baba agari baba. Na baba aweza, do you know baba yako today? Hata kama alikulea nokati, anaweza kukubaliki na aweza kukulaani. You still fear him. He carries your blessing. Although mumetoshana, although siku hizi unamundia branketi, anasema ubalikiwe. Siku hizi, oh my God, hallelujah. Things are changing. Berendi huyu di alikuwa naomba pesa kwa baba siku hizi anampa. Berendi huyu di alikuwa haleluya anabebwa siku hizi anabeba baba. But after he vo hawatoshani. The moment utafikiria baba mumetoshana. Apinduke aseme na kemwana keu kitajua mimi ni nani utaisha kuna dada moja aliolewa kaa tu hapo tuhubiri nikafanya harusi nikaona tabia ambao mimi sijaiona he kukaribika mother in law mzazi mzuri waliko sana msichana ni kama wazimu anaenda mpaka naeka mafuta ya taa kwa maji ya mzazi ya kukunywa makisi mabaya huwezi elewa paka nikasikia no there's something wrong mzee umewaka kana biashara inauza eh hey, hoteli mama huyu akiingia tu hivi wateja wote wanaondoka ako na haeleweki anaenda akiangalia customer eh hey, customer mnajua mimi ndiye mke wa yule sasa unamuliza, sisi tataki mwamba ya muke ya umume, tataka kukura, tuende. Hmm. Watu wakiuna niye yako kwa duka, they run away. Paka ni kaomba, bwana kaniambia, enda mpaka kwa ke. Ni kamuliza wewe. Roho wa bwana anenea. Kuna kitu kina nisubua. Kuna baraka huna. Kuna baraka huna. Ni kuludu ragia. Nikamuliza siku ya harusi mama yako alikuwa wapi? Kasoka yakai besho mukai. Kuna mambo siku abia pasta wangu. Wewe huku jua. Sema wewe ongea. Sema mama yangu aliachwa kwa nyumba. Akaniambia enda hiyo harusi yako lakini utajua mimi ndio nilikuzaa. Sasa wakaniambia bishop nilichagia chuki ya baba na mama mpaka nikasababisha baba yangu awe mke mwingine i know my mom, my mom is good lakini niliingilia na mimi nasema bishop mama yangu huniambia kwamba nilifanya sex na baba na hiyo kitu nikagojea umusichana awe na uchungu naye hakukana hakukana nikamwambia that's why hauzai nikamwambia fanya hivi ninahisi jehova 
ni kama ako tayari kuita mama yako kimbia haraka nasikia mama yako siku zake zinaisha na natamani umwende kimbia mama yako aondoe hiyo maneno hakuenda likawia mama akapa that's all do ilishali haribika hata kama umekoma jihadhari how you behave with the father and the mother waza kuwa umeokoka umeokoka umekoma sana siku hizi mungu hakupigipigi sasa mmekuwa marafiki watch out watch out ni katika urafiki ulio karibu sana kunaweza tokea laana kubwa mnapokana mungu mmekuwa marafiki siku hizi ya kuchapi mmekuwa rafiki yake ka ukijua ukijua huyu amebeba baraka zangu na wajukuu amen bwana asifiwe the other day nilichukua visa za wazazi sita wa Edeladen nikauliza amekualika kwa nini una akasema bishop kwa maana hawa wazazi wamezeeka hivyo na niko na watoto watano nataka wakae London miezi mitatu miwili ndio watoto wangu wajue heshima ya babu na shoshu na niwe na ibada kitabu warudi Kenya watoto wangu waheshimu na pia wanene baraka kitabu aende biguni ni mama wase sema i want them to speak a blessing hallelujah nikataka tukae na miezi tatu niwalishe vizuri angalau kutuke tu neno rathimu i'm giving them three months ni wapeleke tu wakule wavesu samana ndio no barikiwa barikiwa linero maka mara 10 arabarudi kenya it happened walipoa visa wote three months kaja bishop shiraira rathimirua hata kama umezeeka na umezoea Mungu kuna kitu kimebaki watch out kuna kitu kimebaki watch out na kama nyumba yako itapita pahali fulani bila kunenewa kuna shida kuna shida kuna mahali Mungu mtu anafika that's when niliwaambia order wobe na familia yako every year panga waje hapa na na wapange si haraka wapatie kama dhirima za bie mwezi wa disemba tutaenda kwa madhabahu tubarikiwe na Mungu na priest atuobe baraka ndio watoto wako wasijue tu Sunday school na kuruka ruka wajue madhabahu bwana awabariki bwana awabariki kwa sababu mtu kuna watu wakikoma they can say anything ukwa mdogo ugekibia baba ikutuma kwa duka ukwa mdogo ugechapwa sema woi ulipokoma unaongea kio nataka ndio watoto wa alun watoe moto wa kigeni walizoea mungu god knew how wanajua ni moto gani niliamuru but komanda sasa wamezoea bwana sema a a afadhali waondoke ni back to the baba yao hata baba yao akicheza ataondoka do you know kuna mahali Musa alifika Mungu akasema hapana Musa ni, wewe ni rafiki yangu wewe ni rafiki ya lakini tadhoguo nikokora you see kuna mambo mawili Musa nisalimieni nisalimieni niwaambie siri baba mjui any time unakaa na Mungu angalia katabia fulani uko naye either ni kiburi au kuasi yeah. wewe ni mtu kiambia Mungu nitakuja saa 2 nakuja saa tatu. kuna kazo tumazoea tunachezea Mungu watch out those stadiums watu wako openea pale wakihubiri Yesu anarudi na wewe umekaa chini ukiangalia Liverpool na Arsenal hiyo nyumba yako hiyo nyumba yako ndio naona mtoto wako anakusumbua kuna kitu nyumba haina Bwana sio sana 
Bwana awalinde. Let me ask a question. Siku na wakati Musa alileta agano kubwa, agano kumi, tablets, eh? Akakuta watu wanabunu ngombe na usharati na nini? Si alikasika kagusha. Do you know, if you check the scriptures, Moses alipoulizwa, haku sema sorry. He justified the action. Watu ambao, ukiulizwa kwa nini hukuja ibada. Kwa nini ulichelewa? Githaiga. Nasema, ni kwa sababu, kuna wakati you don't explain. You say, God, I have sinned. Mungu hajui mamba ya kwa kwa. Hello? Zamani, siku isi, dege, muna chua isi mamba ya dege. Baba Jesus wa jopi ya dege, zinaachaka watu. Mimi niliachwa na dege, nato Swiss Air. Ikuwa meandika, na ufike airport two hours kapla dipacha. Nikaingia dakika sita. Imechelewa. So nikaingia sasa one hour and 54 minutes. Nikakuta walifunga exactly the two hours. Na niwapata hapo. How are you? Yes. Kabia, no, 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 no. Watch the time. Kabia, ni traffic jam. Haka niambia, traffic jam imekueko. You know it. Na hiyo dega ilika hapo two hours nikiona. Na kwabia ili niacha. Kuna uruma. Kama dega inaazacha mungu na mungu je. Hello. Nikaka, nikaka. Roha munga katebea. Kuna mutu aidiagari ya kabia. Kuja hapa mchugaji. Come here pastor. Next time don't be late. Kaba. Yes. Yes. Tuko partners na dege gine inaito Brucius Airlines, Sabina Airlines. Na itaeda London leo siku saa tano. We will transfer your ticket. O siku saa tano, we will not charge you anything. But next time, watch out. Kusama, dio, kusama yu unajikia, haa! Unajua Musa alipo akusha sheria. If you check, akaulizwa, Musa, nipe sheria zangu. Akasema nilipata watu wanabudu ngombe, dama na nini. Akabawa, sheria hazikuwa zako. Weo likuwa tumutumishi. Sheria ni zangu. Kama wapokei nirudishie. Sama niliangusha. Mosi did not say sorry. Moses hakukudua, although they were so close with God, akona hasira. Wakaendalea tu marafiki. Mungu na mpeda sana. Mwana kasema ni mekurehemu na kini. Ukirudio tajua minu mtakatifu. Doge menja na Musa. Alipo ambua, walipo fika kades bania kule mbele. Haka ambua, Musa, nenea muamba utoe maji. The same thing. Alipita akapata watu. Moses akakasirika sema Wewe! Nyinyi! 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 Ni watore ya machi kwenye mwaba Akasahawa liyabua anene Hasiri kapanda Akagonga Yenye maji litoka Wakatu watu wanakunyo Nasema haleluya Wabia kuja Moses Na hadu ni kujeni Kuja Makithi kuthunu wa hadu na hawa Kuja Kaba Moses Hau kutakasa That time mungu haku tumia jina kutukuza Alisema, hau kutakasa jina langu. You did not sanctify my name. Hau kufanya jina langu takatifu. Bere ya Israeli. Kita Musa wangaba mama usiongea leo. Wewe na Aaron munaenda. Kama kuna vas na wangopa bibia. Sama, na buwana akapereka Musa hapo kwa mulimba juu. Na akamuwa. I am yet to know mungu huwa mutu vipi. Yani, si malaria, si accident, ni ya, 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 ya. Na yo kaisha. You see, the more unakoma and you're afraid of God, the more you need to be sensitive. Usije mungu wakafikiri umemzoea. Unavi ya maketi hapa? Hello, praise God. Hallelujah. Wale watu, unawa kuna, kuna huu president, president Ruto. Wale watu wako hatalini ni makabine secretary. Na president 
akiona wewe ni cabinet secretary na ni kama unamzoea anaweza fanya anything to show you ako kwa power niwaambia siku moja kibaka kuwa president kuna jamaa alikuwa chief campaigner wake kibaka kipitia odhaya jakaambia e mwai mwai sasa hiyo kibaka kuna bodyguard mwai endeke mwai kibaka akasema i am the president of kenya immediately the man was arrested kapelekwa high court faini ya shilingi 1000 faini ya shilingi 1400 kibaka akumlipia ndani kwa nini kwa maana amechezea power when you get close to power know how to walk with power hallelujah god can react as the king of kings dio abaki na heshima akuodoe ukipeleka aibu bere zake na Mungu azasema ukaekae bere zake na uheshimike kwa maana unamuogopa na unamcha Mungu. Naomba siku zako ziongezeke because you fear God. Naomba Bwana aseme huyu akaekae kwa maana huyu ni mcha Mungu. Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana ainuliwe. Haleluya. Wakati Yesu alikuwa galili na wanafunzi wake alipofuka alisemaje mwende muambie wanafunzi wangu tukutane wapi na lili walipokutana na akasema na petero hayo hapo wakati pita aliuliza pita je wanipenda pita je wanipenda saa hiyo kuja hapa kuna mwanafunzi mmoja bible inasema mwanafunzi Yesu alikuwa anapenda walikuwa wamekaa na Yesu anauza uza Yesu anakaa vizuri Peter akauliza na je huyo huyo alikuwa Yohana Yohana was a friend wa Yesu na je na Yohana je mimi niambia nitakufa sababu ya jina Yohana je Yesu akasema muache huyu nikitaka akae paka nitakaporudi atakaa na actually Yohana alikaa miaka kama 30 zaidi ya Petero almost 40 wakati wanafunzi wote walikuwa wameaga John was still there. Akiwa mzee sana akiandika kitabu cha ufunuo. I said there's a way God can just prolong you. Amen. Kuna mambo ambao wengine waliaibisha Mungu. Akasema acha ikae hapa. Nipate mtu ada ni heshima. Ukute brother, Bwana anakupa baraka aina kumi. kwa maana hata za wengine walio darua bila zake wewe unaaminia. Muogopeni Mungu sana. Sasa tushukuru mbuji na Bwana. Hara baba shatara bosike nema. Taika sota baba bosa. Nataka ujipeane kwa Mungu kama rafiki yako. Nataka sasa usijali kwa kanisani sasa ongea na Mungu personally. Mwambie Bwana I'm your servant. Lord I want to serve you to the end. No on pasema. Ongea na Mungu bila msaha. Ongea na yeye kabisa be serious. Let God know you are here to serve him. Ema kashe kararara sherere mazia la posota shekata pa posoka nimamo mikatiri babo sanda we worship you lord we worship you lord we give you praise we must kababa oba kabisa oh my god Jesus we give you praise. King of kings we worship you. Oh rama mama shakata babu. Shekererere mazia lopo sikata baba bosa. Omba kabisa, omba kabisa. Omba kabisa. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Asante Bwana. Baba katika jina la Yesu. Na kushukuru kwa wote walio hapa. Wapendwa uko hapa. And unagudua kwamba mambo mengine unaopitia. Unapitia kwa sababu kuna hali ya kumcha Bwana na kumuogopa ambao katika maisha yako imerudi chini. 
Kuna kitu naona. Kuna jabu abalo ulikuwa utubu na ukutubu. Linaweza kukuletea mapigo. Kuna tabia uko naye. Unaona kabisa unaasi Mungu. It's not the will of the Lord. Leo Bwana ameniambia nikuambie ni siku yako ya kurekebisha. Ni siku yangu ya kulenjea. Ni siku yako ya kuinuka urudi pahali Bwana alikuamuru. Katika Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliye hai. Shara baba baba. Mota pike sekema. Rekatani masanda. Jesus 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 Jesus. Let's go us to your love. Lejesha umwa na ume kwa upendo wako. Lejesha umwa na mke kwa jia zako. Lejesha ukijana kwa utaua na hali ya kumcha Bwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo. You are seen to God God. Nikataka kukuelewa na kukuogopa. Kumcha Bwana na kutokucheza na yeye. Kumtumikia Bwana bila msaha. Lord, let's turn me back to your path. Uko hapa wasema Mungu, nikataka kurejea katika hali ya kukuogopa. Hali ya kukuinamia, hali ya kukutolea the bill ambazo unataka. Baba usiniangamize kama watoto wa Aaron. Ai wamba kata. Mungu sitaki kukuzoea. Nataka kuogopa. Unasikia moni mwako kuna jabu ungetaka Bwana akusamee na urekebishe. And you are serious. I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you. mkono wako. Unasikia mimi I want to work on something in my life. Ina mkono juu. And you get hawa how what if you are serious kuja hapa mbele haraka kibia kibia hapa i want to pray for you in this altar kibia kabisa kibia kabisa asha mtaangalia kule nyuma ukifika hapa inua mikono yako kwa bwana jisalimishe kwake mwambie lord mose tapaka reba baba baba Opa second ever. Okay, I'm going Talk with God seriously. Talk with God. In the name of the other Kaba Bosha Kaba. Yes, 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 yes. Do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Sima Master Mahali Ukasa Inuami Kononju Kwa Mungu. In the name of the Lord. Chukwada Kabiri Kabisa Muriria Bwana. Tubu Berezake. Tubu berezake, tubu berezake, tubu berezake, titakase berezake. Mwambie Bwana, nitakuhudumia kiwango chako. Nitakuti vile ulivyo. Oh my God, I want to serve you in your honor. I want to serve you in your glory. I want to serve you in the mamaka. Jina mida mosaka. Usiombe kidogo omba sana, omba sana. Omba. Mwaga mweo wako. Mwaga nafsi yako. Kwa kebwana wa mabwana. Mwambie mungu. I want to fear you. To walk in your ways. To honor your name. Shakata baza katari masekatabo. Shinda na makato robo sekedereba. Shanda na na makato ria pasikata na mazanda. Makasa tori baboza Shinda mikoto bikasa Yoko pasa katara babo Shinda dere masia lapo soka Tubu kabisa In the name of Jesus Christ Oba kabisa Usiwa na msaha Oba kabisa In the name of Jesus Nina achini ya dami ya Yesu Na chini ya damu ya Yesu. Na chini ya damu ya Yesu. Na chini ya damu ya Yesu. Katika nafsi hizi, katika nyumba na mwanando wako, katika mwili wako, katika nafsi yako, damu ya Yesu. Oba kabisa popote ulipo. Wacha baba baba baba. Sherera baba baba baba. Hore ghost, hore ghost, hore ghost. Holy Spirit, have your own way now. Have your own way. Have your own way. Roma Shakataraba. Oh, be serious. Be serious. 
Mungu ndiye amekuita sio mwanadamu. Mungu ndiye amekuita sio mwanadamu. Oh my God I worship you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hapa kabisa. Hata kule nyuma, omba. Usicheze, usiwe na msaha. Roho wa Bwana ako hapa. Roho wa Bwana ako hapa. Roho wa Bwana ako hapa. Roho wa Mungu, roho wa Mungu, roho wa Bwana ako hapa. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh Jesus. The Lord bless your life. The Lord anoints your soul. Holy Spirit, have your own way. Bless his people. Yes. Jesus Christ. Ebu tuombe. Na sasa tunapoomba, you are here. Unajua kabisa huwedi biguni. Huwedi biguni wewe. There is an issue. Kuna jabo. Kuna jabo. Na hata ukijaribu kuwa baje. Unajabo na jua. Umetenda. Ambalo. Linazuyo simame beza mungu. No na sikiu kisimama beza ke. Weza agamizo kama watoto alun. There is an issue in your life. I say there is an issue in your life about as a fanya moto wa mugu tu kuchome. Kama huta kupari ukweli usamehewe. Wajua hivo. Popoto lipo ino mkono juu. Wajua mimi kuna jabu. Ambaro ni ragiza. Siz ni lakishetani. Lakutote mungu. Kutokuwa wapa mungu. Ambaro ya zafanya mungu aniangamia. Niketaka mungu tu kwanza. Ni kubali maovu yangu no nioko eleo. Unisamehe leo. Unioshe leo. Kama uko hivyo inuwa mkono wakulia erekeza binguni. Kuna jabo uko nalo. Ambao ukiongea ukweli. Haliwezi kuruhusu wewe. Usimewe za mungu hivi. Mungu mtakatifu. You must leave it. Usidaganye inuwa mkono wakulia. Yes, God bless you. Inuwa kabisa. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Kujuani Gani, but God will forgive you. God will forgive you. And now, in the name of Jesus, Siku hii ya rehema, Siku hii ya fathiri za mungu, Dugu yangu pokea utakaso, Na kutoka leo dada yangu, Urekebishe jia zako, Jehovah akurehemu. Baba to kushukuru. Sisi stote tumesimama bele ya uso wako. Tumetulia miguni mwako. Tunasema uturehemu. Tunasema ututakase. Tuasema e buwana. Utusaidie. Ili tukweze kumucha mungu. Kukutolea ibada. Kukutolea sifa. Kukutumikia, kukuogopa, kama unavyo stahili, ni sisi tukobele yako, ni sisi tumesimama, ni sisi tukowazi, tomba leo tupate rehema, nasi tuwa kuwahidi mfame, bere zako, hauta kubali ya ibu, dami ya kristu, itudekebishe, in Christ Lord, pokea obiletu, nathabiu yetu. Amen. God bless you. God bless you.